Hey, welcome back to Umon Star Gaming. Just gonna do a quick follow-up video to the one that we just saw, or the one that I posted a little earlier. And this one, we are gonna look at infrastructure, because that's probably the second, if not the third, thing that you look at once you start up the game of Megapolis. So I'm gonna click infrastructure here, and we're gonna look at what's available. So I have it set up so it shows me uh, experience points from least to highest. So the first one you'll see here says basketball court. Um, and a lot of these, what they're gonna do is they're gonna give you income, but in addition to the income, they're also going to give you um, some sort of population benefit. So in this one, uh, a lot of these are gonna increase your limit of your population that you're allowed to have, which is pretty cool. So you'll see the first one here doesn't give you any profit, the basketball court, but it gives you a uh, increase in limit of 139 people. Now we're going to slide over to the next page here and we're going to look at the pizzeria. So the pizzeria, every five minutes, you're going to get 40 coins. And this one will take up um, some electricity and some water, but it's going to give you 40 experience points. But it is going to increase your population limit by 511, which is pretty nice. So you can see there's a lot of different options to look at. Here's a few more, pub, movie theater, supermarket. So you can see there's a lot of really neat stuff here, bowling alley, climbing wall, sushi bar. So looking at the sushi bar, it definitely looks uh, like a Japanese style there. And every six hours, you're gonna get 92 coins, which is pretty cool. And it's gonna let you increase your limit of population by another 1700, it's pretty cool. So now I'm going to skip forward a little bit more. One, two, three. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So now we can get up to something like a football stadium. So every nine hours, it's going to give you 287 coins, but it is going to increase your limit by about 2,900. Now it is more expensive, right? Because it's going to give you more coins and give you more uh, experience points. Uh, so that one's 62,500, but it gets built in four minutes. Not too bad, not too bad at all. But every nine hours, you're gonna get some income. Now I'm gonna skip forward quite a bit because I wanna see some of the other ones that give you a lot more income and you know what they're looking like for prices. So, all right, so we just went up to Stonehenge. Um, so that one in 24 hours gives you 2,000 coins, but it is going to increase your limit of people all the way to over 9,000. So that's really, really cool. And then Purdy's uh, Wharf Tower goes up to 9 hours, 471, but it gives you more population boost. Um, now you'll notice that Stonehenge does not use any electricity or water. So that's a very, very good buy, uh, especially for coins. Uh, versus some of the other things around here. Spanish mills are pretty good. So you'll find in the game that you're going to obviously have buildings, uh, residential buildings, and you're going to get more population, a lot more here and there. But you also need to be able to support that much population. So you're going to have to keep an eye on your residential buildings in addition to your infrastructure to make sure that you have enough infrastructure to support the people and vice versa. And then lastly, you're also trying to get income. So let me see if I skip forward. So all these over here, if you notice, they're not giving you any income. And in the photos, they all look half built. That's because when you build these, you're, you still have to continue the building process, a level two or a level three to fully build it. And once they're fully built, that's when you're gonna start getting that income. So let's skip forward to, let's see, car wash. That doesn't give you too much, but look at this capital tower. The capital tower every 12 hours gives you 1,300 coins. It increases um, your population uh, limit by 10,000, which is really good. But you see how expensive it is? That's 800,000. And it's going to be a nice tall skyscraper, like a, a mid-level skyscraper. So it's going to look nice, you know. So basically what I'm getting at here is there's so many choices. Uh, like, I, like you can see above here, I am level 80. Um, so if you start out, you're not going to have all of these available because they are going to, you know, um, become available to you as you progress. So when you start out, you're probably only going to have three to five of these pages. And then the rest of it's just going to say, oh, you need to wait till you get to a certain level to unlock it. 
but there's so much variety and if you can see the artwork on a lot of these they are really 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 well done and unique um, a lot of them are generic i don't see too many of these that are actual buildings in the world that they're copying um, so they're they're you know they're coming up with their own design on stuff but it's very interesting like the outdoor bicycle arena there is going to be a little dude riding his bike in there the youth soccer school there are going to be little guys kicking the ball in there um, so a lot of these do have little animations um, but going back to our city that we're building over here oh this i just built actually recently the uh, football stadium you can see people kicking a soccer ball over there um Everything just looks amazing. Um, you can rotate the buildings. You can place them in different places if you don't like where they are. You don't have to demolish them and rebuild them to do that. You can just move them around. Um, let's see. And then these are other things that are in the game that I haven't built yet. Um, so let's go to a... I think there's probably one over here. There should be a... Okay, so this one right here, you can't see it right in the middle of the screen. That is a gas station. And I'm going to click coins to collect the, the, the money, which is 46. And then population is that way. So when you're clicking these here that show the little people in them, you're actually doing a census. So you're collecting the number of new citizens that you have. Whoops. Um, and then where you're when you're collecting it the other way, where it has, uh, here we go, oh, I went away, sorry. When you're collecting the ones that looks like little coins, those ones, you're actually collecting taxes. Uh, later in the game, you can automate that, so you're not, you know, spending 20, 30 minutes clicking everything on your board, which can get a little annoying, of course. Um, but they, they, uh, they add certain government uh, buildings for you, so you can do it much better. Uh, what is that little one? Cell, oh, cell tower, yep. Oops. So, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, when you're looking at your infrastructure, always look at how much energy it's going to use, see how much, uh, how many coins you're going to receive, and look at how many um, uh, population limit increase you get. Um, but if you really want to progress in the game further, you really want to look at the experience points. So generally, like, buy whatever you can afford that... Um, will give you a ton of experience points because that's how you're going to be able to level up in the game. And obviously make sure the other things are also good. And lastly, buy what you like. There's nothing in this game that tells you you have to speed up or you have to buy these buildings or you don't want to put like um, beach or island buildings next to like a wintry mansion. Like it doesn't matter. You build your, your uh, cities however you feel and um, just you know build whatever you like if you're the kind of person that does want to level up though you do want to pay attention to some of the other things that i was talking about but you know build what you like um, and uh, we will come back for another video to talk about some of the other things that you can build in this game all right thanks for watching